Ladies and gentlemen, your new Toy Wrestling Entertainment Galaxy Champion, Hulk Strowman. Yeah, everybody recognize that I am the new Galaxy Champion. And everybody who dares challenge me with my title will get these green hats. Smash! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, the only reason your champion Hawk Strowman is because the Spidey Club, the Spidey Club, were very upset that I beat their leader, Baby Spidey, to win the Galaxy Championship. Then you cashed in and you stole my championship and you ruined Rush Sep Day for me and all these great people here tonight. And actually, no, these people are horrible. I don't like them, I don't care about them. It's not about them, it's about me being champion and I won my rematch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rush Seth, I am entitled to a rematch as well. But you see, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I know that if I have my rematch soon, that SE Punk would just cost me a matchup again like he did Extreme Rules. Extreme Force, which is the only reason you beat me, Rush Seth. But I give it to you. I give it to you. You took advantage and you got that victory. Congratulations. But you dropped the title mere seconds later. And it had nothing to do because of me and the Spidey Club. Listen, I don't control what my friends do. And I don't agree with everything they do. But they did have my back. But I'm just here to tell you, Roosh. Rush Seth and you the so-called champ Hulk Strowman that I'm holding on to my rematch clause until until I got rid of S E Punk. That way he's not around to cost me my rematch and I can barely go one on one for the championship and regain it. So you guys can battle it out for that title until I deal with that punk. Baby Spidey, baby Spidey, look, listen. I'm not just a punk. I'm S.E. Punk. Straight Edge Punk. And I'm here to make you an offer that even you can refuse. I want your Spidey Club. To join me. That's why I'm not joining the Spidey Club. It'd be them joining me. And I can be your new leader. I can lead you into a lifestyle. That's drug free. Alcohol free. Tobacco free. Even. Something else free. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Bottom line is, I can make you the leader you need to be. With my guidance, you can once again be Galaxy Champion. And you'll be unstoppable if you just join me. You and your Spidey Club honor me as your leader. And instead of being the Spidey Club, you will be called... The Straight Edge Squad. What do you say, Spidey? Um, no way. Punk. Nobody says no to my face. Well, I just did, man. And the text. That's a punk and he's...
battling it out right here. They're fighting it right here in the arena, uh, arena floor. Spidey has SE Punk in position. He's in trouble. The Spidey Clash by the phenomenal Baby Spidey. This is the house the Baby Spidey built. Oh my goodness. Sending a message to SE Punk did Baby Spidey. But oh, wait a minute over here. Hawk Strowman has Rush set up in his shoulders. Power slam to the former champion. Smash with these green hands. The champion sending a message to his possible ch first challenger for the championship rematch. My name is Johnny Mono. I found myself a partner to go against the Rat Sisters. It is I, Kurt Dangle, and Johnny Mono. After what? After how the Rat Sisters talked about my country, the good United States of America. I'm going to tap them out. It's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the poop day. And today, we have a very special announcement for you all, boys and girls at home. We have talked things out, and we have decided that right after this we will disband and each go our separate ways of course we we'll still be friends but we'll have separate careers as singles wrestlers or if we choose to find another partners but being at Poop Day will always be the greatest team ever. You got Chris Jerk versus Chart Toy. Ring the bell. Ding ding ding. Chart Toy kick to the middle part. Ring the bell. Ding ding ding. Disqualify. Here's your winner by disqualification. Chris Jerks, my thing chart toy can care less. I don't give a damn. But wait a minute, here comes the entire skinny weight division that he's attacked the past couple of weeks. They're coming after chart toy and the see a revenge, and they attack chart toy and all over him. Unbelievable, the skinny weight division has come together to put down Chart Toy, who believes he should be more than a skinny weight, and he's a bigger star than all of them. Come together to put him down. Oh my goodness. They have really laid down the Chart Toy here tonight. Is not getting back up anytime soon. Wait a minute. You know what that means? It means I just received an email from the anonymous general manager here. Let me read it. And I quote you two. Tonight, team and send this matchup. I will book a rematch between Chart Toy and Chris Jarks in the near future. However, instead of a traditional matchup, we will have the skinny weight surrounding the ring, and this will be a lumberjack match. End quote. Oh my 
goodness. That means Shark Toy could be in jeopardy as all his enemies in the skinny weight division will not be part of that Lumberjack match as they will play the role of Lumberjacks. Oh my goodness. No, fellas, I... The only reason Mr. Kenderson defeated me at Extreme Fools is because he cheated. Yeah, fellas, everyone side. Mr. Kenderson cannot beat me, fellas. Not fairly, not then, not ever. So yeah, I want a rematch. And I would kick his head off. You're, you're kidding me, right? I cheated? I did not cheat. The people at home know that. I am not a cheater. But if you, Shabo, was to go one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Kenderson, dead. Fine. I'll just beat you a second time. Oh, I attack Shabo. I kick some right in the head. Kenderson. Oh my god, somebody get some help. Now in the ring, set freaking black, is the Intercontinental Champion after winning the Battle Royal in that live event, showing air the main event known as At Your House. And he's there with the referee who is now managing him forcefully. He has to do what the referee says, or he will be fired by his word. Anyway, stay there on the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, your Intercontinental Champion is that freaking block. The crowd pops. Tonight, I won that freaking block. To have a match where he defends his Intercontinental Championship here tonight. And the crowd pops again. And his opponent will be. Well, it's me, of course. But here's the catch, Seth Freaking Black. You will be facing me. I will be your opponent, your challenger, but I will always also be refereeing the match. So why don't you just lay down and I'll make the count and I'll be the Intercontinental Champion. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you get to keep your job. What do you say? What do I say, man? No way, I'm not laying down for you or anyone to drop the Eternal kind of Championship, brother. No, man. It ain't happening. Um, I'm not asking you. Keep in mind, if you don't do as I say, you'll be fired. And if you're fired, you'll be stripped by the Eternal kind of title. <laughs> man, that means nothing. Either way, I'm not Eternal kind of Champion. Yes, but this way, you still got your job. No, man. You need to. No, I don't. Yeah, dude, you need to, you need to support your family. You need to put bread on your table, man. Serious? You really want me to do this? Yes, I do. Now lay down for me, please. I'm not going to repeat myself again. Alright, man. Fine. Okay, then. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. One, two, three. 
Ding, ding, ding. Oh my goodness. Here's your winner of the new Intercontinental Champion, Ruffery. The Ruffery is your new Intercontinental Champion. Oh my goodness. That freaking black must be humiliated and embarrassed once again by the referee. We can have that this way. At least he's not getting sued or fired. Wait a minute. It's Seth's friend. Roman Rage. He's here. He's here. He's here to come to his friend's defense, I assume. And a spear to the robbery by Roman Rage. <sighs> oh my goodness, coming to his friend's defense here. And a little reunion here by Zep Freaking Black and Roman Rage. Against the robbery, who is now the Intercontinental Champion. Oh my goodness. Goodness. I hope you all enjoyed the episode so far. There's more greatness to come out of this episode. Bang, bang. Have a nice day. <laughs>
spine buster on Devin Owens by Bat Boy Baron. One, two, and Devin Owens kicks out. And he's raking the ice and face of Bat Boy Barry. And puts all his weight on him. Bat Boy Baron in the corner. And here's Devin Owens charging at him. Oh, belly flop. Canyon ball. One, two, and shoulders up that bad boy, Barrett. He's got him up and a wasteland. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here's your winner, bad boy, Barrett. What a singles main event victory. This is huge for bad boy, Barrett. Boy Barrett celebrating his victory here. But wait a minute. Rat KO out of nowhere. Redemption from that soak a couple episodes ago by Rat T. Orton here. No, 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 no. Give me a microphone. Give me a dead microphone. Devin Owens show, whether you like it or not, but I keep being put in situations where I have no chance of winning. No, 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 I don't like it, and it's all just jam, computer spot. Screw you, damn anonymous general manager. I quit. What? Just quit. Can't believe it. He's walking out. He's leaving.